Hey guys, Jeremy C of FWE here bringing you guys another Filmora tutorial and today I'll be showing you guys their new program called Filmora Screen which is their newest video recording software only available for Windows at the moment. So for a brief overview, the software can record up to 120 FPS meaning you get smoother video recordings which is perfect for fast paced games. Not only can you record your game, you can also add a webcam as well as microphone to the mix. Which means you can have all your footage including gameplay, your audio, and your face cam in one project. To be honest, before we were introduced to the software, we were using two different programs to record our screen and face cam at the same time. And sometimes we would even use our phone for face cam and then we'd have to import the footage and go through all the editing. And this is definitely easier and it saves us a bunch of time whenever we do gameplays. And for those of you who are asking, gameplays will be coming soon. Just a little heads up. So getting started, once you open up the Filmora screen app, you're given this menu that has three options. You can either choose get started, quick capture or video editor. And right here, I'll showcase to you guys what Quick Capture is. And it basically pulls up the recording menu. And it has some presets here based on your computer specs. So right here, we run 1920 by 1080. And it allows you to add a microphone and record the desktop audio. If you guys are okay with those settings, you're pretty much set to go. You can start capturing. And there is a hotkey right there that says start capturing F10 you can start and stop recordings with that key right there. But going back to the main menu, if you hit get started, this menu pulls up and it's a little more intricate. You can customize settings to the way you want to. And I highly recommend this setup here because it gives you more freedom to do what you want. For the screen menu right here, you can either do a full screen capture or you could set to a custom size. But I prefer to do full screen just because we like the full experience. And right here underneath, it shows the frame rate. I like to do 60 frames per second, but this software allows you to record up to 120, which is insane. So for those of you who have beasts of computers, you can definitely do that option, but we are gonna stick to 60 frames because that's what we use for most of our uploads. And yeah, that's pretty much it for screen capture. But if you guys do this option right here, for games, you can actually choose the window in which you want to record. So right here, there's a drop down menu and whatever game is open at the moment, you can choose. And yeah, you can pretty much set the FPS depending on the game that you're playing. Going down into the audio menu, you're able to record the computer audio. So if you want to record the gameplay audio, that's definitely an option for you. If you are also playing music in the background and you want that to be in your video, you could definitely add that too. And right underneath is the microphone drop down menu where you could choose which microphone for you to record your audio on. And I highly recommend using a USB mic or some sort of external mic for this just so you can have better and more clean and crisp audio. Once you've got the audio all set up, you can go down to the camera menu and this right here, you could choose the webcam of choice. And we have a built-in one on our computer, so we just chose that one. And you can choose the resolution. It can go up to 1080p. I like to choose something that's a little lower frame rate because our webcam isn't going to be the entire screen. We like to put it on the side of our gameplay and it's not too big, so we go by 640 by 480. It allows us to scale up the FPS to about 30. And underneath these menus, there's an advanced settings tab where you can choose where to save the recordings and I like to save them on an external hard drive because it takes up quite a bit of space and we do not want to lose any more hard drive space on our main drive. And over on the hotkeys tab, you can choose which button you prefer to start and stop your recordings. And once that's all set up, you're pretty much good to go and you can hit capture. And that will bring up the recording menu that you've seen earlier in the quick setup. It's very similar, but it has all the custom settings that you have recently set up and once you feel you're ready you can hit that white button right there to start recording and that's pretty much it for the recording side of this software and what's awesome about this software is that you can edit the footage that you just recorded on the same program which is so sick so once you finish recording it pulls up this menu right here it shows all the clips that you recorded in that session and you can export all clips and hit go and it pulls up the editor here is where you can edit down the video that you just recorded. 
you can cut parts of the clip you can change stuff on the webcam maybe add annotations or titles and text and once you've got the video the way you want it it's time to export and there are many export buttons you could choose from I chose the one on the top left. There's one all the way to the right, right there. It pulls up this menu for export settings. Right here, you can copy everything that I have done. And right underneath that are the video and audio settings. So you're gonna want to have the encoder H.264, which is already set for you. The resolution size in which you recorded in, and for us, it is the 1920 by 1080. As for frame rate, set it to the frame rate in which you recorded the video in, and keep that bit rate the same. We don't want to touch that and as for the audio that is also set in place so whatever is there you can choose that and once that's all set just hit export and you're good to go once the video is exported you're ready to upload to youtube and that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys found this tutorial helpful please be sure to leave your comments down below if you guys have any issues i'll be sure to reply to you guys and help out as best as i can and let us know what you guys think about this new filmora screen software i'm really starting to dig it because it's a lot easier than any other program that we've used and filmora is always awesome enough to share with us these new products that come here and there and yeah thank you again to filmora for sponsoring this video and i guess we'll see you guys in the next tutorial thank you guys again and we'll see you guys in the next one bye